Let's send it over to Justin Rose in the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Game. Got a preview of what's coming up today at 11 o'clock. Good morning, Justin. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this weather as well as, as we are. Dave Burkett from the Free Press joining me today. You enjoying this weather? Last day off today before I get back to work tomorrow with lines coming up. So Don't talk enjoy. about it yet. Yeah, we no, have no. one more week before really our summers are very much over. We're talking Lions, we're talking Tigers today. We also got to talk a little bit about Tom Gage. He has a big day in Cooperstown yesterday. Let's start with the Tigers, though. Another win yesterday after a loss that seemingly boggles the mind. What's going on with this? I mean, I, we talk about it every week, and I feel like it, nothing. the narrative has not changed in like three weeks. No, you're right. It, it seems like they can't put the two phases of the game together. Either they're getting good pitching performances, not getting much out of the bats, or they hit the ball and, and the pitchers let them down. And I think that's what they're going to go through for the rest of this, at least for the next month while Cabrera's out. It doesn't look like they have enough offense, the offense that they need to get them over the hump. Uh, you know, it, it, the Royals look like they're running away with the yep. division. I just don't know that the Tigers have enough to make the playoffs. Right at now. the top of the hour, 11 o'clock at the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Cape. We're going to give percentages on uh, how easy we'll see the trade deadline five days away, how much the Lions, or excuse me, the Tigers are trending in either direction. We are also going to talk about those other cats, the Lions. Training camp starts next Sunday. Players report. Dave and I will be there. What's, uh, give, us a, give us a sneak preview of some of the big storylines going into training. Well, let's start with one of the biggest. Defense, number two ranked defense in the NFL last year. No Indama can sue. How do you replace him? And then offensively, look, everybody's looking for Matthew Stafford to take a big jump forward this year. Can he do it? I have some doubts. Look, he's a really good player, really talented. They just haven't won a whole lot with him. He needs to uh, improve this year for that offense to carry the team. We're going to talk a lot about a couple of the different situations with some position battles that are going on. Tight end, one of them. You know, I like Joe Fourier. Is he going to make the team? I don't know. See, we're something we're going to discuss. That's all coming up and very, very much more, including your tweets. Get them in now using the hashtag 7 Cave. We'll read them. You could be on TV. It's kind of fun. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Where has the summer gone, guys? Oh, Lions oh, training oh. camp next Already. week. Already. Yep. Next Sunday. Here. I'm excited. Me too. I'm excited. Thank you, guys. All right. Still